No fly zones have been established around all aerodromes in Australia. The no fly zones introduce restrictions to operating within three nautical miles of the aerodrome and on the runway approach and departure paths. The no fly zones also limit the height of remote aircraft operations within the circuit area. To formulate the departure and approach, CAS has used a nominal runway strip width of 100 metres. The departure and approach is defined as a splay of 15 degrees either side of the runway strip out to a distance of 7 kilometres for non-controlled aerodromes. The width of the corridor at 7 kilometres reaches 3.85 kilometres in width. There is also an area that's been established to protect the circuit area of the aerodrome. This area is defined as two semicircles with a radius of 4 kilometres from the centre line at each end of the runway. The two semicircles are joined by a straight line from the point abeam the end of the runway. This forms an area where remote aircraft can fly to a maximum height of 150 feet or 45 metres. These areas look quite restrictive for remote operators, however, these areas are only restricted whilst there is a relevant event. A relevant event is defined as when a piloted aircraft is utilising the same airspace as the no-fly zones.